It is May 31st, 2022. It is 9.28 a.m. on August 30th, 2021, which is the first day of school. And there are 11 days of school left. Walking around the hallways these days, I sort of feel like a ghost. I have these moments a lot where I sort of come to and remember I'm a human. I know classes are going on and tests and assignments and all that and friends are having drama and promposals are going on and everything that's been happening all year is still happening but I'm never entirely sure I'm there and some of that is me but I think more than anything I know more than anything that it's that funny little thing called time and that is something that I know is affecting way more than just me. For a lot of people, this has been the worst year of their lives. For a lot, it's been the best. For me, it kind of feels like both at the same time. And all of these are the reasons it feels so weird to leave. It's our first year back from virtual schooling. We're in the middle of a pandemic and wild amounts of global turmoil. But that's obvious. We know that already. It's the smaller things that count to us. The juniors that haven't had a real year of high school yet and are going into their last one. It's the sophomores watching the freshmen have the experience that they never got to. And I know all that's obvious too, because there's a lot past any of that that's just inexplicable. And having made it through with that, there's something to be said for it. But what I'm trying to say, frills and bells and whistles all removed, is it's goodbye to this year, as horrendous as it was at points, to last year, which gave me some of my happiest memories, to the year before that, and the year before that, and everything else that's come before now. I'm so grateful for some people I met this year, and the shows I got to do, and my English assignments, and my Spanish classmates, and my announcements companion, and my chemistry table. I'm sorry to all the makeup I cried off at school this year, and to anyone who had to interact with me during the week we were filming the first episode of The Warrior Wardrobes, and to myself for not appreciating a few weeks as much as I knew I should have. I know I usually make very high-energy, peppy videos, so this may seem like a bit of a change in tone, and it is, but beyond all that, it's a return to my roots. I'm going to turn my camera off and go now before I cry off any more makeup this year. If you've been feeling the same way, know that you are by no means the only one. Crippling nostalgia is a lonely curse, but it's not one that you're alone in.